You want to tell your story online and you want to create online videos, but you've got no clue where you can get ideas to keep pumping out video after video, content after content. Well, guess what? I've got four ways. Let's roll. Hey there, I'm Robert Kennedy, the third RK3, and if you're anything like me or a lot of beginning video producers or video creators, you jump in, you start doing Facebook Lives, you start creating videos about stuff that you're interested in, but you're not necessarily sure, number one, if your audience is interested in it, or if you can keep finding ideas to keep this thing going. Well. In this video, I'm gonna share with you four places that you can look, four places that you can get ideas for what people are actually looking for, what they're searching for, so that you can keep creating stuff that they're actually interested in. Now, I won't go into a lot of detail with these, but one of the places that you can begin looking when you are looking for content ideas, especially around the topic that you are interested in, is Google Trends. If you go to trends.google.com, it'll bring you to this page. And what you can do is you think about the thing that you're exceptional at, the thing that you're interested in, and you want to find out what people are saying about that thing. So, for example, if you're interested in if you're interested in fashion, let's say, OK, I type in fashion and I'll choose that search term. Here's what happens. It's going to open up for me a lot of data, information, interest over time etc interest by subregion etc but what i'm interested is in is the related topics down at the bottom and the related queries right this is what people are searching for next in fashion reality show high fashion uh fast fashion luxury goods fortnite fashion show fortnite fashion show code those are the things that people may be interested in in that particular area or field okay if i go further in the queries dark academia fashion fall fashion 2020 but here's what's cool about google trends this if i go up to the top here i see that it says web search but if i click the drop down i can choose to look at youtube search okay and now i'm able to see what people are searching for as it relates to fashion on YouTube so live fashion show Fortnite, Lackland fashion show you know so it looks like the Fortnite fashion shows are a big deal right now on YouTube so if I wanted to make a video if I was in the area of fashion and I wanted to create content around that topic these are some of the things that I might look to create content around I can create a video around this the second topic the second area or the second resource that I can use to get some ideas about what people are asking is a website called answerthepublic.com. Okay, if I type in answerthepublic.com, I'll come to this screen and I'll see here where it says, this. I'll see here where it says, discover what people are asking about. So if I type in there, let's see, I'm gonna type in communication. Okay, something similar to what my topic might be. And I'll choose the the location so I'm gonna choose United States here I can choose the language if I want and then I'm, I'm gonna click search and this is brilliant because now it pops up this chart that shows me a lot of the questions that people are asking so if you see here it says communication 77 questions okay so and, it, and I love that it divides it up into these words the what why where how etc so it says if i look under why it says why is communication important why communication is important at work why is communication important in leadership these are some things that i can make videos about or i can tell stories about but let's say that i want to do something that is a little bit more tutorial based so let me look at the word how okay how communication has changed in the last 20 years how important is it in the workplace how communication works, how communication strengthens relationships at work, how communication has changed, okay? So there's a lot of content here. There's a lot of, there are a lot of seeds that you can use here to begin creating videos or creating, sharing your stories around those topic ideas and areas, okay? If I scroll down further, I'll see that there are prepositions, for example, the word without, communication without talking, communication without speaking, communication 
without words, okay? Um, let's look at another one, with. Let's actually choose the word is. Communication is best defined as. Communication is the process of. These are a lot of things and look and you can do comparisons, okay? All right, so there, there are a lot of different things that you can use here to, to start the process of creating content for your audience. The third place that you can go to find some content ideas or things that you can do your stories or videos about is keywordtool.io. Okay, keywordtool.io. And if you see here, I've got some different search engines that that you that you can get content or data from. Okay, Google's the big one, of course. But let's say that you're interested in doing videos and you want to find out about what people are looking for. Let's go back to that word. Actually, let's go back to the first word, fashion. So if I type in fashion, okay, I make sure that I've got the YouTube tab selected. Okay. And the way that keyword tool works is that it, if you have the pro account, it gives you some more granular data as far as the search volume, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you're also look, you can also look here and see some of the different things that people are searching for on on YouTube with regard to fashion. So if you look here, fashion show Fortnite Live, there we go again. There we go again. So you know this Fortnite fashion show is a big deal somehow. Fashion show Fortnite, fashion meme, fashion and style. So you, you can get some sense of, okay, I might need to know about this fashion, this Fortnite fashion show, okay? If I'm in the world of fashion. If I try the word communication, let's try that one. Okay, if I choose the word communication, I see communication skills, communication breakdown, communication skills for kids, right? Uh, communication apprehension, communication affirmations. I've got a lot of different things that I can begin thinking about here because this is what these are some things that people are looking for. The fourth way that you can source or find content for videos or for your stories online is to simply go to Google and use the what people are asking about feature as well as some of the suggested topics. So let's start with, let's stick with those two that we've been talking about. Let's look at fashion again, okay? If I click on fashion and I scroll down, I also see this area that says people also ask. So what is your definition of fashion? What clothes are in fashion in 2020? What's trendy in fashion today, okay? So I see that if I scroll all the way to the bottom of that page, I also see some searches that are related so people are looking for stuff that has to do with fashion style, definition. Fashion Nova store keeps showing up as well. Okay, I don't see Fortnite here, but the, you know those, those are some of the things that, that people are looking for. And this gives you some ideas about what you can create content around in your area of interest. If I go back to the word communication, okay, I see that the questions that are people are asking, what are the four types of communication? What defines communication? What are five good communication skills? My goodness, I've got three solid videos right there. Easy, easy. If I scroll down to the bottom, communication skills, synonyms, effective communication, why is communication important, types of communication. I've got a lot of different ideas there. So if you see what people are already looking for, it becomes even more easy for you to create content that they care about. I hope that was helpful. Listen, if you want to learn more about the techniques and the technologies of storytelling, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment below, or you can join me in the Storytellers Growth Lab. If you're not sure where that is, you can go to storytellersgrowthlab.com. The link will be in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you there to hang out together. I'll see you in the next video.